In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix the problem when you can't hear phone calls on your iPhone unless you're using speakerphone. What? We want to highlight one thing before we begin. In the phone app, if you have no other devices to make phone calls from, you'll just see speaker. If there are other devices around, you'll have to tap the audio button in the phone app and then tap speaker. It's a good way to make sure you're not playing sound somewhere else when you want it to come out of the earpiece speaker. You probably knew that already. The next step is a simple test for a software problem. And so we're gonna try making the phone call with another device and then switching it back to your iPhone. I'm gonna make a phone call using these XM4s, noise canceling, so I'm gonna leave one ear cup open. I'm gonna try calling John up phone first with the Bluetooth headphones. I'm gonna select Sony XM4s. And then switch back to the iPhone earpiece and test to see if that works. I'll tap audio and then I'll tap iPhone and hopefully that fixes the problem for you. If it didn't, or you don't have another Bluetooth device hanging around, the next step is just to take it out of the case. A thick or bulky iPhone case could be covering up the earpiece speaker on your iPhone. Or more likely, it's covering up one of the microphones that's being used whenever you make a phone call. We'll talk more about those microphones a little bit later in this video, but first, screen protectors. We're not big fans of screen protectors, and if you put it on awkwardly, it could be covering up the earpiece speaker or one of those microphones. So take off your screen protector and try again. Or if you really love your screen protector and you don't trust us, just go to the next step, and then at the end, come back and take off your screen protector. The next step is to restart your iPhone, which can fix a minor software bug. If you have an iPhone with Face ID, press and hold the side button and either volume button simultaneously until slide to power off appears on the screen. Then select that power icon from left to right to turn off your iPhone. If your iPhone doesn't have Face ID, just press and hold the power button until slide to power off appears. Wait 15 to 30 seconds, let your iPhone completely shut down, then press and hold the side, or the power button again until the Apple logo appears on the screen. And while your iPhone is restarting, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it helps us out tremendously. Next up, and we already talked about devices a little bit, but sometimes when you're using Bluetooth, the phone audio could be playing in your car or on an external speaker somewhere. So let's try turning Bluetooth off and then making that phone call again. I'll open the settings app on my iPhone, tap Bluetooth, and first you can look through your list of devices and anything says connected here. That device is connected to your iPhone right now. Let's just turn off Bluetooth at the top of the screen and shut it down completely. The next step is to clean out the earpiece speaker on your iPhone. If it's been in your pocket all day, it's easy for lint and other debris to build up inside your phone's ports, speakers, and microphones. So grab an anti-static brush or a brand new toothbrush and start scraping away. I'm gonna use the toothbrush and I'll start by brushing out the earpiece speaker at the top of the phone. Be kind of aggressive with it, as long as you're using a toothbrush that you've never used before or anything non-metallic. After you've brushed out the earpiece speaker, brush out all of the microphones on your iPhone. Where are they? There's one on the bottom. There's one actually on the top that you've already brushed out because it's up here in the earpiece speaker. Yep little pinhole guy, the lower right-hand corner of the camera. These microphones work together to cancel noise on your iPhone. When I was at the Apple store, a lot of people used to come in and say, one of the speakers on the bottom of my iPhone is broken because it looks like there are two, but in fact, there's only one. The other one is the microphone. Even if you've cleaned out the microphone ports with an anti-static brush or a brand new toothbrush, there could still be something wrong with the microphones. There's a software fix for that, which we'll talk about later, but first, we have another port we need to clean out. It is the charging port. Why in the world are we cleaning the charging port on this iPhone? Sometimes your iPhone can get stuck in headphones mode. It's more rare now than it used to be. But if there's debris stuck in the charging port of your iPhone, it could be playing audio through headphones that aren't there. I'll brush that out. You might be surprised by what comes out of your phone. There's stuff falling on the table. Next, we need to check a software setting you've probably never heard of. Let's tap back to the main page of settings in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll down and tap Accessibility, then tap Touch, then scroll down to Call Audio Routing. Tap on that and make sure Automatic is selected. Right, if the wrong thing is selected here, your phone call could be routing your call to a different device, not the one you want it to. Let's talk about that microphone software setting. It's called Phone Noise Cancellation. In the phone app, I'm gonna call John up phone by tapping mobile. And once John picks up the phone, Next, while you're on the phone call, swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen to open Control Center and tap on Mic Mode. 
and then try switching to voice isolation and see if that fixes the problem for you. If you have an iPhone 12 or older, the process is a little different. Go to accessibility settings and then audio visual and then turn off phone noise cancellation. You know what you can do on any device? Become a member of this channel by clicking that big join button below this video. Some people become members for the free PDF guides. Other people become members to connect with us or for free shortcuts. Whatever your reason is, we would love for you to join our channel because it helps us out a lot. And after you join the channel, make sure to keep your iPhone up to date. This can fix minor software problems. So what I'm gonna do on my iPhone is close out of the phone app by swiping up on it. Then I'm gonna open up settings again and head back to the main page of settings by tapping back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Next, we'll tap general, then tap software update and look for an iOS update if one is available. Tap download and install. Before we talk about the biggest software fix of all, we wanna address the elephant in the room. How do you know if it's a hardware problem or a software problem that's causing the issue? How do you know when it's time to quit and give up and get your phone repaired because you're trying to fix a problem you can't fix at home? The answer is to try calling a friend and really listen through the earpiece is it quiet and crackly? If so, that might be a sign of a hardware problem. Or did you smash your phone or flush it down the toilet? Definitely hardware problem. But if you can't hear anything at all and your phone is in really good shape, there's a good chance a DFU Restore will fix the problem. When you make a phone call, it's your iPhone software that decides whether or not you hear the other person's voice through your iPhone's earpiece. If the iPhone software isn't communicating with its hardware, there could be an issue with its firmware, which is right in between soft and hard. DFU stands for Device Firmware Update, and a DFU Restore erases every single line of code on your iPhone, reloads that code, and installs a fresh version of iOS. Before you do it, make sure you have a backup of your data on iClouds or in iTunes or Finder on a newer Mac or Apple Devices app on a newer PC. There's so many apps now, preferably iCloud, so you don't lose all your data once your phone restores. The DFU Restore is a pretty in-depth process. That's why we made a whole video about how to do a DFU Restore on your iPhone. That's in a card above and in the section below the subscribe button. But if a DFU Restore doesn't work, it's time to talk about repair options. If your phone's under warranty, definitely reach out to Apple because if you repair this yourself or bring it to a mom and pop shop, they replace it with a non-Apple part, that's gonna permanently void your warranty and Apple's gonna disavow any ability to help you. But if your iPhone isn't under warranty, feel free to go into a local mom and pop shop or try to fix it yourself using an iFixit guide. Not affiliated with iFixit, but the good news is for this problem, depending on the model of your phone, so no promises, this is a problem you probably can fix for not a lot of money. And once you fix that problem, check out our next video to learn about all the iPhone settings you need to turn off now. We'll see you there.